today called symposium in the time and era where human beings are scared to be near another human being there came a man in the form of a guru in the form of a guide in the form of a friend whose name was Vipin Thakur Anukul Chandra in his simple words he said so beautifully the master is the materialized form of bliss and he is the absolute so let's try to dive in to the ocean of bliss as our panel of esteemed guests today attempt to answer questions by our dear friend. We are only taking a few questions during this segment. You may wait till the end of the program if you have additional questions. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our first guest today, who is uh, Sri Surya Prakashta from Bangalore. He is Global Head Talent Transformation at Bipro Digital Tech Operations. He will be taking questions from our friend, Pankaj Nithave, who is an IT professional in Montreal. So I would uh, go ahead and give the mic or hand over the podium over to uh, Mr. Pankaj, who can ask his question. And Sudeda will be answering his uh, question in about seven minutes. Joy. Yeah, thank you, Pritima. And uh, thanks, Surya Prakashda. Uh, Jay Guru to everyone. First of all, I want to thank Atanuda and everyone involved in this grand system and <laughs> arranging this online event especially during this ongoing current situation so it's a pleasure to see you all folks so i have simple question so how to achieve inner peace and happiness by using spiritual way during this uh, very busy and fast uh, life and schedule Yeah, it's to you. Uh, Guru, can you hear me? Now I can, yeah. Okay, wonderful. Uh, thank you very much. I think this is a very, very profound and uh, deep question in a, in, in a time which is really um, and turbulent. And the question that you have asked me find that inner peace and happiness by spiritual way in the midst of a busy and hectic and fast life. So when we talk about inner peace, Pankajda, it definitely signifies one thing. It presupposes the existence of an outer world which is turbulent. When we're talking about inner peace, it essentially means an external world which is turbulent. So in a world which is turbulent, filled with ups and downs, problems, complexities, challenges, difficulties, how do I find that inner peace? How do I find that balance? How do I find that happiness? So if I take the example, um, all of us, when we traveled in an aircraft, when, did, when we were on a flight for the first time, and if there was a turbulent flight, what was our experience? What was the state of our mind? The state of our mind, when I'm a first time traveler, first time flyer, when there is turbulent, the aeroplane air, aircraft is rocking, the mind is filled with anxiety, fear, helplessness. You have a sense of losing control. You are in a situation over which you have no control. Now, if we look at our life as a flight, and then we are a first time traveler, and we have no experience of how the challenges of life can really cripple us down. Our mind can be filled with anxiety, helplessness, fear, uncertainty, and there could be a sense of a lack of control. But in that flight, if you keep flying more often, you would overcome that sense of anxiety and fear even though you experience turbulence because you have now become more knowledgeable you have understood the cue and the clue of flying 
and if you happen to be the pilot in the midst of turbulence you are fearless you are least concerned about what's happening around you and then you are you feel that you are in control even if there is turbulence outside you are in control so now the question is how do we enhance our sense of awareness about the external world sense of consciousness about the external world how do we gain that knowledge how do we gain that wisdom now when we talk about life and we talk about the lack of peace and happiness when we feel that imbalance in our life we need to keep in mind that there are certain imbalancing factors which takes away the balance in our life the imbalancing factors are lack of wisdom lack of knowledge our passions our complexes our senses these are the imbalancing factors which take away the inner peace in our life now let's look at this picture uh, atunu bhai is now going to bring up a picture on the screen and uh, you can see um, this picture of a surfer who is surfing in a turbulent sea imagine the sea imagine the turbulence that you can see in the sea the rising waves what you can see there is this man who is surfing along the sea in a calm and composed manner he has not lost his inner peace and balance he is not feeling anxious or scared he feels a sense of control the key to that is while there is turbulence while there is rising waves rising up and down well while there are ups and downs he makes sure that he stays connected to the surfing board his base his foundation no matter what the waves are how high high up in the air the waves take him but he has got the clue of staying with the surfing board the board is going to save him all the time and this is what life is all about that is that is turbulence in the sea that is rising waves in our life there are problems there are challenges there is a pandemic which is all around us there is a fear of losing jobs there is a fear of losing life there is a fear of losing health in the midst of all this turbulence there is a way to find that balance if you stay attached to the surfing board of our life and once we stay attached once we align ourselves to that surfing board the base of our life the cause of our existence our living ideal a guru a personality who is omniscient who is the supreme well wisher of the mankind who knows it all and who knows the cause and effect of everything who knows the cause of our sorrow the cause of our anxiety the cause of our problems and he knows the 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 action that can lead to a particular condition the cause that can lead to a particular effect when we attach ourselves to that man that personality that guru in our life through devotion we gain knowledge and wisdom and sri sri thakur nukul chandra who is our living ideal he says something very very profound sri sri thakur nukul chandra says wisdom destroys confusion and gives discerning eyes to man and when we attach ourselves to a guru through devotion we gain wisdom and then wisdom destroys confusion anxiety fear 
helplessness, hopelessness, because we gain that vision, we gain that discerning eyes. Sri Sri Thakur says, the greater your wisdom, the greater your peace of mind. As your experience is, so is your strength to live normally. As Preeti Ma was saying, the master is the materialized form of bliss. When we get the materialist form of bliss and happiness in our life, who is the absolute? When we attach ourselves to the surfing board, that board attaches ourselves to us. Even if we want to go away from the board, the board sticks to us. I know that we have limitation of time. This is such a profound topic that one can go delve into the intricacies and complexities of the mind. But I hope in the short time, I made a very humble attempt to answer your question. Thank you very much. Jai Guru. Thank you so much, Surya Dhan. Thank you, Nandesha, for offering the question. And uh, very beautifully said, the only way to get inner peace is to be attached to uh, a living ideal.